Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Ghetto Roboto. Featuring Skiz. And this time, we are not Roboto, we are just Cat. We are Cat in the ventilator shafts, and there is no use of the mech now. We have gotten through some rather hair-raising experiences with one-hit deaths. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's only going to get more interesting in just a moment. Yes, I am told that uh, something pretty interesting happens down this shaft. Oh, hi. It is Rat. But Rat is jo- driving a bulldozer thing. You do get some pretty awesome beats with this. But yeah, it's you just run fast, and if not, you are killed. And of course, you have to actually wait for the drill guy. <laughs> nice, yeah, running off there helps. Yes, I have not done this bit before. I have seen it done recently, so in theory, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, but it's like, you, it's a cumulative thing. You can, you can do ah! a bunch of... That's not bad for a first shot on it, though. So yeah, the, the problem is, you can have a bunch of parts you do really well, but having a part where you really get stuck can be enough to sink your run. Yeah. Also, vent boost! Yes. Yeah, if you turn, turn around really well, the vents actually speed you up. Good. No, okay. no, 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 no. You probably are still okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of finicky stuff in also how fast you want to tap your jump button to be able to climb effectively. Yep. Uh, you gotta oh, trigger gotta the mine. trigger this. Yep. And this is a forced wait, unfortunately. Oh! oh! That's really bad luck that the fish drifted over there. But Actually, this should be going pretty good. Yeah. Like, I think when I first tried this, it took me maybe 15 minutes of attempts to get it. And it was in part from doing things like uh, getting stuck to walls too easily. There we go. Probably a couple quick taps there. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah, left wall, right wall, good. Yeah, there really are some moments where you don't want to... <sighs> yeah. Kiki. Kiki does sort of get a bit of a burst going off the sides of a ledge. Yeah, Kiki can uh, slip and drift a bit. So, it might actually be better for there to try a jump off the ledge instead of a run straight off that ledge. I think that actually gives you a little more horizontal control. That was bad. That part's surprisingly tight. I also don't think the game has an achievement to beat it completely deathless. Which would be a heck of a feat. Like, th this is the portion of the game that I would be the most afraid of. I know I can do that. I did it just fine the first two or three times. Yeah. It looks like you want to do two taps up that right wall and then switch. And... You're doing a good job with that hallway thing. Ooh, not even two? Because that was like two full force ones. Come on. No, no, no. There we... There we go. Yeah, just a little late. No, no, no. I'm not sure you're going to be able to make it through this part. Nope. Oh, snap! Yeah, that was way too much time lost in the first part. <laughs> Yeah, 
You do build up a bit of a muscle memory also for where the turns are. Mm-hmm. You have to do it a few times. So yeah, just once over, good. Once over and don't land directly on the drill. Yeah. I feel like there shouldn't be an achievement for dying in the most distinct places on this run. <laughs> like, specifically this runaway. Yeah, but I think you have a good... I think you have a better strategy now for that part. Oh, left wall was definitely a mistake, though, because now you had to wait for two of his di his dashes. Okay. It's a little tight. I think you can pull it off. Yep, up, hug left wall down this guy. Yes, that's it. You got it set off. The timing is really awkward on that one. I might hug the left wall after you do that swim up. Okay. To see if that encourages the fish to stay a little more leftward. Maybe. Oh, I'll just keep going till I get it. Mm hmm Also, it's been, what, like, six minutes of tries? Honestly, that's not that bad. At least one thing about frustrating game segments like these is any individual attempt is usually pretty quick. There we go, get right wall. Oh, yes. I was worried about you clearing that drill. That was good, though. That's fine. Nice, nice. Okay, but maybe, like, in between those pillars yeah. is a good place to wait in the future. Right about that height. Nice. You are consistently getting good turnarounds on the fans, though. I really wanted a double jump right there. Mm-hmm. Double jump is reserved for something much heavier and more robotic. Besides, Kiki single jumps are generally better than the mech single jumps anyway. Also true. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. I mean, this thing can break those blocks. It also breaks everything else, including me. Yeah. I didn't know that the drill just, like, poofed when that happened, though. I was expecting a little bit more of a violent destruction of the drill. How exactly does Mouse get access to all this weaponry anyway? R.I.P. the little wiggly dudes that were hanging out at that pit. Good. Nine. Good, and somewhere like a little over that block. Yes! Great timing! Yes! Right walls. And then one left wall. You are clear! Woohoo! <sighs> and uh, that was nine minutes of attempt, so I did a little better than you on your first run. It does help to have seen it a little before as well, but that Very was a good... true. Excellent. Yeah. That actually, for me, is one of the hardest parts <laughs> of the whole game. That and the lava mouse fight. Okay, so there is an up and a down. Uh, up is blocked off, however. Yes. Save! Yes. And a and... save that gives you your mech. Yes! So there is the mech in the ventilator thing. Uh, you want to go rightward, I believe. This is something. It is plot. What's this? Laboratory log of Dr. Heinrich, day 642. Defective is a nasty choice of words. But Barkley's health is certainly in decline. Aw, he named the dog Barkley. 
The poor thing. I have never seen anything like this. He must have been exposed to something quite carcinogenic. Aww. I wonder what those jerks in security did to him. I don't want him to die. He is my only friend. But I am running out of ideas and medicine. And security is becoming suspicious. I have an idea, but it is likely to fail. If you recall, in prior experiments, I bound the consciousness of a rat to the body of a frog. My assistant, Dr. Rebecca Brown, expressed some disgust for this project, which I suspect is due to her allergic reaction to these amphibians. I have been thus far unable to re reproduce the experiment. But, assuming I could, this just might work. Good boy. Oh, happy dog. Sigh. I'll help you, Barkley. Hmm. So, a Dr. Rebecca not a fan of you, like, making uh, rat minds go into frog bodies. I'm sure that would be the only reason to have a problem with the project. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what is this? Kiki big got shot. a big shot module. Kiki, you got the big shot module. Whoa! This makes your normal shot a lot more powerful. Give it a shot, Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even controlling this. This is all Kiki. Ha! Huh, you are becoming quite formidable, Kiki. Damn right. <laughs> Over and out. So, yeah, this is a completely optional power-up. Kaboom. I would say if you're trying to speedrun the game, it's probably still worth getting in terms of ending some fights faster. But it is nice. Oh, hello. So, yeah, you do get some fighting in mech. Time for practice with the big shot. Yeah. Still useful to have rockets. Okay. Or no rockets. Oh, no, frogs. Yep. Okay, I'm playing badly. Uh, yeah, do you want to be in there? There you go. Yeah, I was wondering for a sec where your use of rockets was. Aha. Yep. Now I want to jump out and find a treadmill or something. Uh, there's your treadmill. You might want to go quick. Aww. Uh, I'd climb right wall and let that guy advance a bit more. Okay. Nice. You were saying? Well, I mean, that was a good jump. <laughs> but yeah. Anytime you're at one hit KO level of game, it is always a little more dicey. Yay, splash damage. Yay. You know, I had completely forgotten that there were parts in this stage which required you to still use the mech. <laughs> Probably just double jump over and meet him on that side. Yeah. In the low path or something. Or just flat out skip him. Indeed. Yay. You know, I'm not even entirely sure if it's possible to beat this part without the uh, double jump spin dash thing. Oh, wait, you have phase. Hmm. Phase might have made some of those jumps a little easier. Yep. And can't go there in suit or as cat. Yeah, fan will push you away as cat. A big red button. Well, it's not red, but you get the idea. It could be if we set a different palette. Yay, some health again. Yay. Okay, so what did that do? Well, there's only one place to go to find out. Looks like we've got fans on. 
Fans powerful enough to lift even a giant mech suit. Mm -hmm. There's some really fun momentum preservation stuff you can do there, where you go up fast. Mech still cannot fit through this, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I do get something fun. I get cannon! Yes, so you hold down your- you have to hold down your shoot button, and then- I think this is actually a pretty nice way for the game to give you a little tutorial of how to work it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep. And you get to do a little more, even if it feels like it just takes some time. And an upside down one. <laughs> yes. There's something hilarious about seeing Kiki hanging out of that upside down. It is sort of fun how you still feel like you can get emotion out of cat face with like single pixel eyes. Mm-hmm. Yay. Oh. Oh dear. So, you know where to go. Good. Rock em. Yay. Yep. The bombs can, in fact, mess up your cannon. So, let's not give them a chance to bomb you. Very nice. Yay. I think it's pretty cool that they basically gave you combat rooms as straight Kiki. Kiki, come on. Mm -hmm. Jump the way I want you to, please. She's a cat, of course she's not going to do what I want. Also use up most of your precision platforming with the beginning of this video. Also that. Oh, and we still get a boss fight. It's been inspiring, watching your progress. Hey, that's not a rat voice. I don't remember my rat voice, sorry. Who's there? You haven't figured it out yet. Gary? <laughs> I mean, he's definitely not squeaking so much anymore. I don't know what you are, but this ends now. Kiki, crush that little freak. Meow. Predator mode engaged. So, it's a boss fight you have to do with the cannons. So number one, you knock away some shields. And you can door score some damage around the shields. Oh, the, these. Oh. Go, go, circle around, circle around. Circle. Keep, keep circling until the red lasers are gone. And can't you? Yep. Oh, so the way it one? works is if they bust up the cannons, they are out of commission for a bit. And I believe that the bombs he drops also will put the cannons out of commission, as will this. Now circle the other way! I'm not sure how I didn't take any damage just then, but... oh. So yeah, it's just that reaction. Okay. This this should be easier than the... This should be easier than the chase thing, because you basically only have to circle one of two directions. And we go right through all this. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um... Make some guesses in the comments if you think you know what the deal with the rat is. Especially if you've been paying attention to our plot bits. Mm -hmm. Funniest backstory would be that Gary and the, and the rat have some past history. Because Gary made some uh, questionable dating decisions or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> That would be why he seems so sensitive about him. Also, I just made that up. But yeah. Also, just remembering the controls of how to drop through thin floors mm -hmm. comes up too. Like, I don't know how you would speedrun this fight in particular. Okay, just let I I'd let it mess up your cannon and then go. That's just going to make it more consistent. Right. Because the cannon will take the damage for me. Yeah, and it's going to get it's going to get busted out of commission regardless of whether you're in it or not. 
Worst that happens is you get out too early, the laser hits you when you're out of cannon. Also, this is a pretty cool music theme for this fight. I like it a lot more than the lava fight music. Yay. Yeah, you'll only get either- oh, you'll only get either one or two hits on it before the lasers come out. Okay, okay you might get a second hit in before lasers. Yes! Ooh, maybe even three hits. Yeah! I think it's six hits in total. Okay, start running away. Oh, uh, just let it. Yep. And drop down. I keep hitting the wrong button to jump down. Ah. I'm getting better, kind of, slowly. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, depending on the practice, I consider this one of the easier fights in the game. So, it's less complex, for sure. Yeah. It's a little bit of finickiness in the controls to, like, run away from the lasers. Yeah. Yep, here we go. Good. Nice. And it does help if you spring away from the wall. Yes! As opposed to just running straight into the corner when you're climbing up. That's two hits. And I think he'll generally alternate the directions that the lasers go. Oh! Kiki, you were supposed to get on the ceiling. The, the pl mm -hmm. platform thing. Mm -hmm. If need be, we can uh, edit some of this out. We shall see. The other thing that does annoy me about this boss, though, is just the variability on how many uh, shots it's going to take. Because sometimes you get lucky and score direct hits on him, and other times you have to, like, bust out more of the shield. Okay. There you go. Oh, that was close! You may have to make more than two rotations in a laser cycle. Good. Ooh. Just a little higher on the climb. Oof. Yeah. Also, it feels like it should be about the same to orbit the two directions, but if your muscle memory gets totally stuck on one of them, <laughs> then it's a little tougher to get to the other one. Also, kudos to the game designers for just, like, finding a pretty cool way to make a boss fight that you can do just as Cat. Oh. That was clean. I guess it doesn't destroy the cannon if you're not actually in it. Nice, good timing on that one. Maybe soak a hit. Ooh! You got pretty lucky there. Mm hmm Somehow it let one phase go through completely normal. Alright, that's three hits. Gonna go back to that direction. Ooh. Part of the strategy might be deciding when to soak a hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just let the cannon take the fall for you. Oh. 
All right, a little bit of loosening up and drinking tea before next attempt. Nice. Ah, rude. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not great. Okay, he's just being a bully. Oh, that was good. That was extra good. Okay. Left word. Yeah. Okay, back to working cannon. Oh, that's good stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! Ouch! You must feel pretty good about yourself. Yeah, yeah, I do. Enjoy it, fools. Your time is almost up. What do you mean by that, sicko? Heh, <laughs> soon you will know your place. Both of you. Kiki, this is beginning to creep me out. Our only option is to continue on. Godspeed, kitty. So that took, I think, only five hits from you. Yeah. That, no, that was that, a great ending. That that one was a pretty incredible round, because I think he only fired off the laser once. It was either once or twice. Yeah, maybe once. You soaked up a bunch of uh, stuff for sure. So anyway... I don't know if one of these directions is better than the other. Well, you were stuck on the left one. All right! All of the vents have been cleared out. Hooray! And guess what that means? It looks like we should be able to access the lab now. Let's check in with the Nexus PC and get this thing done. Great job, Kiki. Over and out. Okay. And maybe that smarmy little computer will stop giving me some lip. Ha! <laughs> Also, Kiki looks like she's just about done with today. Kiki's had a bit of a rough go on this one. I don't know if this is most deaths per episode, but uh, it's got to be either this or the one where we are fighting the lava boss. Because we seem to have had this habit of stacking mini bosses and bosses in the same episode. This is surprisingly hard. You can use the right wall. So I can. No, it is fun. You yep. get a lot of blowing. Go to the vents. You'll believe a cat can fly. <laughs> so, if we had gone a little direct, different direction from the start, we would have been here and have been stuck. So, I have a suggestion. Yes? We can leave, but we've actually opened up some options to get bonuses. Ooh. So maybe... I would encourage you to go back down and find the first save. Okay. Which means we have to hit the button up at the top here. And maybe uh, we can start up the next episode by finding the bonuses we couldn't get earlier. That now that like we've uh, now that we've cleared away some fans. Yeah, so we'll meet you back down there, everyone. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.